Hello everybody, my name is CM3. Welcome back to the final part of Medieval. So I was wrong. It doesn't throw us straight into the level. It gives us the uh, map screen again, which is nice because it gave me the chance to do some things, including collecting all the rest of the lost souls. So something is waiting for me on the main menu. I'm sure that'd be great. And then this. I took some time to restock on basically everything. So we should be good to go. It's been a long time since I've seen this level. Ooh. One or two more tricks up his sleeve. Maybe even three. Oh boy. Okay. We could do this. We've got every chalice. I think we have every life bottle, right? We never thought you'd get this far. Your final encounter with Zarek awaits beyond this point. Ooh. He has surrounded himself with his unnatural bodyguards, but you may yet even the odds by calling upon the lost souls collected within your chalice. Of course. Place the chalice on the shield at the heart of the arena. Good luck, Sir Daniel Fortescue. Thanks, man. I knew we kind of mean from at the start, but uh, I guess I can forgive it. Oh, no. Right. So, I'm going to equip that first. Um, let's see, sword and... I don't know, what else? You. I don't know. I like that weapon. Okay. Ooh. Cool. Would have been cool if you walked into the gold shield, but never mind. So, ooh. There's usually... Uh, okay. Um. Oh. Is this different now? Okay, I'm... I'm a little stumped. There's usually a box that gives you a new thing, which we need. Does this play out differently? Sir Fortescue, my old nemesis, so we meet again. I see that a century spent as worm food has done nothing to diminish your naive obsession with the freedom of Galonia. Hey, it's not an obsession. Oh, man. I can't wait to do this. Prepare to attack, my warriors. I want the dogs gnawing marrow from those bones within the hour. You have dogs back there? What is that, Fortescue? Your lucky cup. I mean, you could call it that, yeah. <laughs> All this? Just my, uh, just my goblet. No big deal. Yeah! Go for it, lads! Okay. Oh, here it is. It just... You just suddenly have it. Okay. That's fine. Um, that means... Yeah, that's fine. So let me see if this works the same way. Gonna let people take a few hits first. Don't let anyone die. Oh no, we lost some dudes. It's not good. The more we lose, the worse. Right, he's okay over there. A bit of health. Oh, everyone's. Yeah. Yeah, we did it. Oh, good. That's why we needed them all to survive. But I think we'll be fine. Let us see how you fare against my champion, the late Lord Cardock. He eats people like you as calcium supplement. <laughs> I get it. 
That's a funny check. Oh, dude, look at Cardock. Look at Cardock. I guess he resurrected him too. Oh, I'm ready. Actually, I, I'm not ready. I, uh, I want my health back. There we go. Okay. Got dudes of axes. That's no good. I gotta deal with this. Ugh. Hit him, 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 hit him. Oh, more? Oh, no, that's not cool, dude. Pick that up. I oh, didn't mean to do that. Whatever. You have to live with it. There you go. Right as soon as they throw in the axe, you can start getting them safely. Oh, I shoot! I shielded that. Nice. Oof. Okay, where's the? Is there a third one? There is a third one. There's also that attack, which is not. Oh, I can do it. Just keep keep hitting him. Just had my shield out the whole time, right? That'd be an idea. Oh, well, it's immediately gone. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's saved me a bit of health. Much needed health. Damn it. Okay, I need to get some uh, stuff out for these eyeball dudes. Oh, I can forego an attack on him for now. Well, at least for a little bit. Oh man, there's a lot of dudes. This means I can kill them all at once, so that's not so bad. Just do all the damage. For a moment. Oh, got him! Nice. <laughs> Good. Love that line. Where is that spell? Ah, yes. No, not that spell. You were. Uh, you okay in there, Zarog? You need help? Oh. oh, not right now. Aha! Now I have it. Missed an opportunity there, Sedan. Could have killed him for good while he was a chicken. None shall defeat the mighty Zarok. <laughs> Quick! <coughs> anyway. Jokes are new. I've died already. Oh crap. Ooh. Yeah. Ugh. He spews ass. Oh, okay. I've got to remember a few things from this. Do what we can. It's, it's fine. It's fine. I know I could do more damage than this, but I'm saving like my strong stuff for like when he's um, when he's closer to death. Because usually that's when bosses decide. I know, I'll bring out my more powerful attacks. The problem is I don't remember what his attacks are. So damage is going to be slow at first, but it's a it's a strategic decision. We'll go with that. 
It's like, I can... What he's doing right now is manageable. See what I mean? It's it's not so bad. Oh, I don't know. Run the other way. Okay. Oh, that was close. I'm, I'm waiting for you. Go back and just do a corner. That's it. I guess about a thousand I'll start bringing out the big boys. Oh, two now. See? It's all good. There he goes. A bit of damage. Oh, just over a thousand. One, two. Oh, there we go. Now he does it three times. I was right, you see. Uh. Ah. Oh, he hit me there. Quick. Do it again. Okay, let's start bringing out something more powerful. Flaming arrows. Let's we'll see if that makes a difference. Alright. Oh, oh, you got me there. That was clever. That does a bit more damage. Whoa. I did quite a bit there. Ah. Okay. Not joking around now. <laughs> uh. The two ranged weapons. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now we ain't joking. Ow. Oh, more, one more hit away. Come on. Oh, I'm going to hit him with a spear right in his gullet. Yeah. Those guys, huh? If I can't win, I'll take you with me. <laughs> I, I, um, <laughs> I forgot that happened. I wasn't expecting that. But hey, we did it. Get out of there, Sedan. Oh, crap. Are we done? There's the, um, the time device level. Uh oh. No, oh, Fortescue. Hey, saved by the bird. Is that the same bird that's been like that was harassing us in the enchanted earth? Maybe. Hey, look over there. Uber bird. Take me to my crypt. I was sleeping then, uh, found myself out here. Must have been sleepwalking. I like that moon. That's a pretty cool looking moon. And here we go. You're a hero, Dan. You did it. There we go. 
Because we got all the chalices. What's up, guys? It's actually nice to see them moving and not just like an immobile husk in the corner. I like that cut out in the music. There you go. Fill it up, please. <laughs> That's a big goblet. That's huge. <laughs> And so the Earth is saved once again, all thanks to Sir Daniel Fortescue, whose fortress is not quite as skew as you might think. There we go. That's medieval. It's, oh, what a cool remake. Awesome. So I've noticed some of the uh, lost souls are named after the uh, engineers there. Uh, speaking of which, we need to check that out, don't we? So there we go, medieval. Awesome. I was. It's weird when a when a remake comes out and you think, okay, so is it just the same thing but prettier, or have they actually completely redone it? And medieval's actually had both of those happen to it. There's the resurrection game on PSP, which. Well, I say I. I'm kind of judging it prematurely. I've seen the first level, which was completely redesigned. So I just assumed, okay. They redid the whole thing, but this one, this is cool. It's an ex almost an exact replica of the original, with much better modern day graphics, you could say. Oh man, yeah, I've really enjoyed my time with this one, and I feel like, uh, how 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 will I say this? Because I never completed the original Medieval, and there's always something I wish I went back and did, but I never really got around to it. But this, this is just as good. For um, for someone who's like, oh man, I never completed the original, but th this is close enough. This will do. Because there's very, very, very little different with it. That it's basically the same game. The only problem with that is that because the camera was a bit weird in the first game, it's also weird here. But I'll tell you something. If I had to pick a favourite feature out of this, it is the inclusion of the original voice actors. Uh, especially Paul Darrow, because I know he voiced Zarok. I didn't realise he also voiced uh, King Peregrine. I didn't realise he also voiced the mayor of the, the Sleeping Village. Uh, there was another thing. Jack of the Green, he voiced him too. He basically provided half the voices in this game. So I just think, I just think it's really neat. So it's, it's a big kudos to him. And obviously we've also got Lani Manella, who did an awesome job narrating this game. She, it's such a fitting role for her. Oh, look at all these names. I'm pretty sure the original two guys were involved. Um, I've seen their names in this credit. I've scrolled past and I've forgotten what they are, but I think I've seen them. So it's really cool that they got involved in that. What else do we have? I'm just looking for names that seem familiar. Ah, oh, here we go. Cast. Lani Manella. Jason Wilson voiced Sir Dan. Audio engineer. Is that it? Only two new voices? I suppose it makes sense because everything else was already from the original, so they only needed two guys. That's pretty cool. Yeah, dedicated to memory of Paul Darrow, the voice of Zarek. Ah. I'm glad they put that in at the end. A little thingy for Paul Darrow. Really happy they did that. Alright. Someone tell me what this is. 
because I spotted a bunch of these in the game and I don't know what they are and now it's in the credits. Why? Somebody tell me why, please. I'm dying to know. Okay, so there's still one more thing we need to see. Isn't there? We need to see what this thing is. I think I, I think I have an idea of what it could be. But I want to make sure. Okay. Old game. It is what I think it is. It is exactly what I think it is. Give me, give me, give me a minute. Oh. Oh my god. They even put in the Sony freaking title cards, dude. Oh my god. They went. Oh wow. Is this like they just threw in an emulation of medieval like Sony title card and everything? Oh my. Oh my. Oh my, oh my. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god, it is. Go on. In a time long ago, Ooh. there lived in the kingdom of Galomir a sorcerer named Zarok. I, I, I can't. If I, if I let this go on, I'm going to end up playing the entire game. <laughs> Oh, even the loading screens! Oh wow, this is so good. This is awesome. Do you know what I think I like the most about this? Is that they don't give this to you from the start. You have to unlock this. Which is really cool. Oh my god, I can't believe they put this in. Like, I had an idea. But like, now I'm seeing it. Oh. My. I can't seem to, uh... Oh no, of course I can't load a game because I don't have a safe data. Wow, this game exists. <laughs> In Within Medieval PS4. But I'm going to leave it there because... Uh, I don't really want to... Uh, hello. Where are you taking me? Uh, um. Oh, okay. Alright. Okay, I'm going to leave the video here. So, uh, that's been the Medieval Remake. If any of you want me to play the original game too, then sure, let me know and I might do it. Uh, I have... I will give it a bit of time though, because I have literally just played the remake, as you can obviously tell. Yeah, that'll be it. Thank you all very much for joining me on the honor... No... What if I exit? Oh, I can exit. Okay, we'll leave it here. Anyway, thank you all very, very, very much for joining me on the Medieval Remake. That was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, that's it. I don't really know what else to add. So uh, thank you all very much. And I will see you in whatever I decide to play next. Um, I think some of you have been asking me to do SCP Containment Breach again, which might happen. But yeah, that's it. This spectacle is over. So thank you all very much. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.